can you actually stake Wonderland time and pull 75,133% a year? Let's find out. Today is my first five-day staking results. I'm going to show you my screen real quick. I'm going to actually show you how I did it and the fact that, yes, the answer is yes, I am pulling. I made about 35% in the last five days alone. And as that compounds over the next year, could that be 75,000? And then looking a little bit into why that would work, we're going to talk briefly about that. But show you an answer. Yes, that's what we're going to cover right now. I'll show you my screenshots. Number two, how I did it. Not that it's financial advice, but literally how I did it and how I'm going to do it again to up the stakes a little bit. And then three, why would someone offer this and how does it work? What are the risks? But also, is it even feasible to do this? We're going to talk about it. Let's actually look at the screenshots and show you uh, that, yes, we're actually doing this. Here we go. Wonderland time is at 9,433. I got in, let's actually look, seven days ago. I got in right around here-ish on the second. And that's about where I was at. Let's actually look at the screen real quick. So here we are. We're on the app wonderland.money forward slash stake. You can see that I staked my time. That was my balance. When I staked it, it automatically converts itself to memo. And I started with 0 0.0125 time, aka memo. And then my MetaMask was connected here on the Avalanche network. I'll show you how to do that in a second. I basically traded Avalanche for time, which we'll show you in a second. It went into my MetaMask and then I came in here, connected my wallet with MetaMask. I staked that amount. And in the last five days, my ROI in five days was just under 9% every five days. And that compounds roughly, we'll cover that in a second. But this started at 0 0.0125. And yes, five days later, they reissued my balance to 0 0.013513. Now, obviously, and I'll show you those numbers in just a quick second. I got a spreadsheet. I got a spreadsheet right here, which I'll show you. And of course, the final question is, can I unstake? Can I pull this money in and end up back in my MetaMask? We'll cover that in just a quick second. So here are the quick numbers. I originally bought 0 0.0125, about $100 worth. The price of time at the time was 7413. And so the value came out to 9267 because this price was so high. I, my goal was to stake $100 and just see how that was going. And then the price of this dipped a little bit. So my value changed a little bit there or the price went up a little bit. So my USD went down in value. So in five days, there's my current balance. There's the price today and there's the total value. Now the price of earnings, uh, this is the difference right here. The difference between what the value of my time is today versus five days ago. That's the actual difference, which comes to about in today's dollar, $9.58. So that value itself is about uh, just over 10%. But the total value of the growth, this is the total value of the value of the time change in five days, which went from about 7,400 to about 9,500, 9,400. So the value growth grew a little bit. So currently, if I pulled all my money out now, I'd be up about 37%. Uh, I'm not going to count that just yet. Again, it's only a $35 gain of value. And technically, the actual staked earnings are only about 10%. So that's really the conservative measure. And again, the final measure being, can I pull my currency out. So we're going to look at that in a real quick second. So again, part one here, does it work? We're going to pull out. We're going to actually try to unstake this full amount and see if we can actually pull out our money in case they're going to rug pull or something like that. With a lot of the other people that I know that are in Wonderland, this is not the case, meaning they are able to actually sell their Wonderland for time withdraw it, and then move that right back to their MetaMask, convert it uh, back from time to Avalanche, and you've got yourself a usable cryptocurrency for anything else you want. So I'm going to say that so far, yes, this is actually working. How long can they sustain this? I don't know. We'll cover that in the last bit. But real quick, how did we get here? So if you're used to this at all, you might kind of be used to some of the steps of how to actually convert your currency. But I just want to show you very briefly how this is done. First off, if you're in your Coinbase, purchase Avalanche. I purchased about $150 of Avalanche. It was nominal. I knew I was just going to do it for this test. So I just purchased about 150 bucks. Then you want to add the Avalanche network. And I can put this link in the comments in the YouTube there. Or you can just Google how to add the AVAX network to your MetaMask so that in MetaMask, you actually have the Avalanche network, right? So you've got it here. 
you add the network and then you're going to send however much amount you want to send. I sent my money here and it was like, again, what was it here? We sent, yeah, not that much at all, actually, uh, Avalanche over here. We dropped in my MetaMask wallet address, it clicked continue. There we go. Clicked continue. And once we have this AVAX, it's set up and then it showed up in my MetaMask account. Then you go to Trader Joe, which is the at, which is a DEX for Avalanche. And then you actually trade uh, your AVAX and let's just say it's that amount for, and then you would swap it right there. The Avalanche to time uh, swap. You can see your price and all that stuff. So that's how you get your time. And then your time will appear in your MetaMask under your assets for the Avalanche network. You can see it would appear like that in the amount of time. I've got none right now because mine is currently staked, but it would show up there. So I've got my AVAX and I've got my time. Then you would browse to Wonderland. You would connect. It will say wrong network if you are actually at one of your other MetaMask networks. If you're on Ethereum mainnet or Binance or Polygon, it won't register. It'll have a big red dot there. So you want to make sure that you add the avalanche. Then you type in here the amount you wanted to stake. I just clicked max and I staked it. It took it a try or two. The first time it didn't take and I let it sit for about a day to make sure I wasn't uh, just getting robbed. But then I gave it a day. I tried again and then I didn't get any errors. It went through. It confirmed that it was here in the memo. And then I got a MetaMask notification, a little pop-up that said you have successfully staked uh, your time or whatever the message was. And so the last step is can I actually unstake and take my cash out? And if I can, then we're going to actually proceed with this. So let's actually go here. We're going to take it all out, right? So it's 135136. Perfect. We're going to actually approve. So our time was staked. It took two transactions. You have to do the first transaction where you actually click approve, and then you have to approve it through MetaMask. It says, are you sure you want to spend, allow this site to spend? You click yes. It has to update on the blockchain. It gets permission. And then this button, when it says unstake, instead of approve, it will change its name to unstake time. Then I clicked max. I clicked unstake time. And you can see that my memo has now converted from memo to time at the increased amount. Now I can definitely jump over to, if I wanted to, jump over to Trader Joe's, go to exchange my time, which my balance is now here, and basically convert it to uh, whatever cryptocurrency I want. So success, yes, this is paying out currently. It's not a rug pull. I can say that officially. Do I recommend you do it? No, proceed with caution, do your own homework, but I know I'm going to massively increase my stake here. And I'm going to unstake, make sure I can pull my money out chunks at a time, scrape some profits, and then I'll also be experimenting with Olympus Dow. Now, the last question is this. How could someone promise this? And this was a similar question for people regarding Olympus, what was it, Olympus Ohm. And Olympus Ohm doesn't promise 75,000. It pr promises a conservative 6,000% return. What is it looking at? Right now, right now it's looking at 8,200% return. Now, after spending some time watching a lot of videos and then actually reading the white paper on how this could work, it's a very interesting concept and I'll give it to you in the most simplest version. Basically, the Olympus Ohm and Wonderland Time is a hard fork of Olympus Ohm. And then there's a new one that just came out that's an, also a hard fork of Olympus Ohm. Basically, how they can do it is this. They peg their original cryptocurrency, Olympus Ohm or Wonderland Time. They originally peg it at the DAI coin. Basically, DAI becomes a floor. And if you know anything about the DAI coin, the DAI coin, that it is basically a stable coin pegged to the US dollar. Now, Olympus Ohm and Wonderland Time and any of its hard forks technically are not pegged, but they start at the DAI price and they don't go below it, but they do go above it. They allow the cryptocurrency to trade at a higher rate. Now, if the currency trades from $1 to $10, for example, which isn't that hard to do, they then issue bonds, basically like a stock option where an investor can come in and say, I'm going to buy a bond at $5. So they give $5 to Olympus Ohm or $5 to Wonderland Time. And Wonderland Time, it gains a lot of interest and grows from $10 to $20. That investor can then turn that bond and kind of trade at that amount and see a huge win themselves. But how much money did Olympus or Wonderland have to dole out for stakers. So I would be someone staking my coin and it's just in there. 
So what sort of return can they offer us as all of the trading volume is happening and the bonds are being purchased at a certain rate? How much cash can they offer me to incentivize me to keep my stake in longer? It's significant. So I really encourage you to read up, of course, do your own research on all of these things, but I'm kind of bullish on this right now. I'm going to keep trying. It might be locked up for the five day period and I have to catch it between the five day period and it being unstaked, but I'll let you know how it goes. But that's why there is some legitimate logic as to why they could promise such a high APY. Now, 75,000 year is kind of over the top, right? So maybe checking out Olympus Ohm for a more conservative 8,000% return. But listen, if they can actually pay out the returns and Olympus will be my next experiment, if I can get my cash out of Wonderland, I'll then turn my cash over to Olympus and see if we can actually get something going with Olympus because it seems to be the more tried and true outlet for these rather high APYs. Now, would I rather have my money uh, in a more conservative thing like staking uh, more conservatively on Voyager app, getting 10% a year, 11% a year on a larger part of my portfolio, and then having a riskier part of my portfolio over in meme coins that are taken off like bonkers? I think I'd rather have that because there's a higher liquidity. So, of course, we're only working with about 100 and 150 bucks in Wonderland, and it's not a big deal. But there you have it. If you have any other questions, let us know. Make sure you check out the Patreon for our buy alerts. Make sure you join the free Discord and get involved in the conversation where we're just running experiments like these, but not just crypto experiments. We're running life freedom experiments with what we're doing with our businesses, how I can be an ADHD business owner and still have employees do things for me, and basically how me and my wife are experiencing financial freedom. So check out the Discord, check out the Patreon, and we hope to see you soon. Have a great one.